friends, my name is Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Colors. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I, over the last couple of months since I started my channel, I have come across a few little tips and tricks um, and like different ways that you can uh, make filming your YouTube videos a little bit easier. Um, and also make them look a bit more professional or, you know, just kind of add a little bit of pizzazz to them. So they're super simple. Um, you're not going to have to outlay a whole lot of money or anything. Um, so I thought that I would share those tips with you because you might find them interesting because I know a lot of people who, um, who are on ColorTube who watch ColorTube are also creating content on ColorTube. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you do um, and if there's anything else that you would like to know or if you have any questions, anything like that. Um, don't forget, I do have a Facebook group. Um, it's over at Amanda Colors on Facebook and I also have an Instagram channel which is at amanda.colors uh, and I would love to see you over there. We have lots of fun um, especially on the Facebook group we share our work and we um, answer questions and give tips and tricks and run um, coloring challenges and prompts and things so yeah it'd be really great if you decided to join us. And all of that said, let's get on to my tips and tricks. So tip number one is to create awesome graphics quickly using a website called canva.com. So this is Canva here. Um, there is a free version and there is also a paid version and there is heaps you can do with the free version. It is amazing to create templates for things like presentations, but for social media, it is amazing. There are so many templates that you can personalize for Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Instagram stories, so many more. Um, and there's videos and all kinds of things. So look, these are just some of the templates for different social media platforms. Um, and every single one of them is customizable. So you can use your colors and what have you. But if you go here to videos, um, uh, and you can have a look at the different types of videos, but they have YouTube videos. So what I have discovered is it is awesome to create intros and outros. Uh, so let's just click on this one here and I'll show you very, very quickly how you can customize it. So if you go ahead and click on the background and on this little square up here, you can actually change the background color. It seems like some of my screen recording has been cut off there. Sorry about that. Um, and you can change the color of the text. You can also um, change the color of these elements here and really personalize it to your style and your YouTube channel. You can also change the font. So you can double click on any text and actually type in what you like or choose a different font. And then you can also change the color of some of the elements if you wish to. It just really depends on what you want to do. You can delete elements, you can add elements. It's really user friendly um, and a really great tool for creating awesome graphics. So then you can go down the bottom here and see how uh, your little video intro looks when it's playing. And if you're happy with it, you can go up into the corner to share and then click download download it as an mp4 video file and then it will just download to your computer and you can add it into your video editing software which is really really cool and really simple it also means that you can be creating graphics that are consistent throughout all your social media and your YouTube channel which just kind of gives that extra little oomph. My tip number two is to add royalty free music easily from soundstripe.com. Um, so Soundstripe is a 
website that you do have to pay a small fee to use. However, you can get a seven day free trial, so you could check it out and see if it's worth paying for. But they have all of this royalty free music um, that you are able to use in your YouTube videos without breaching any kind of copyright. So they have all kinds of different playlists and themes of music, so we can just try searching uh, happy instrumental and then it will bring up different options. You can um, have a quick listen and you can see how long each track is and then um, download it and add to your videos. Tip number three is to shorten and track your links with Bitly. So Bitly is another great website. It's completely free to use where you can uh, shorten links to put in your description so you don't have a big, long, messy link. So um, you can, yep, set up a free account and then if you click create um, and then go and find a link you should probably do this first go and get the link that you want to shorten I'm just going to grab a link from an open tab that I have here press create and then you copy it into your um, long URL link and then you can add extra information if you choose to and then click create and then copy and that will copy it um, into your computer so that you can then uh, paste it into your YouTube description box. You can save the link so you can use it over and over again if it's something that you will be doing frequently. Um, and you can also track how your links are going. So I've just arranged these by my top performing links. Um, and you can see some statistics on the different clicks, uh, when people have clicked on them, how many clicks, where in the world they're from, and it's just really kind of helpful information if you're wanting to um, get into analytics on your links and use that to help you plan videos in the future. Tip number four is to add end screens and cards in YouTube. I notice quite a lot of videos don't have end, um, end screens or uh, cards and it's really really simple to do. So um, I've gone in to my YouTube studio uh, and when you uh, go ahead and click create you can upload your video and I have just created a random example video that I'm going to use just to show you this. Uh, so you open your video and it starts to upload and this is the time I usually fill in all my details, add my thumbnail, you know, fill in all the information that YouTube asks you to fill in while your video uploads. Once your video is uploaded, click next, and this is where you can add an end screen or add cards. So I import from my video. So I'll click here, um, and this is where you can add uh, really easy links to other videos to encourage your viewers to watch your other videos. So I've created this end screen outro um, in Canva, and I've added it to each of my videos. And then I usually just click on this option here, which gives you two video spaces. And it kind of suggests what might work best. So you can do most recent video, best for viewer, or um, you can choose a specific video that you'd like to link in these little boxes. Once you've done there, you can add cards. So adding cards is when you add the link in the top right hand corner of a video. So I'm just going to randomly choose a spot here in my example video. You can add a video, a playlist or a channel. So if I click on video, I can just choose any of my videos and it will automatically place that video in the top right hand corner. You can um, edit the title and add in extra information uh, to entice people to click. And you can also choose the exact time 
uh, you want it to be in your video. And then when that's done, you would normally just click next and continue with the process of uploading your video. But now you have extra options for people to click on and spend more time on your channel, which is a really good thing to do. And my final tip is probably my favorite tip and that's to see what you're filming with screen mirroring. Now this one I owe gratitude to uh, Sarah from Chronic Coloring Down Under um, and also to Pixie from Pixie's Projects. So, so what I have done is I've connected my phone to my computer with a lightning cable. I have an iPhone and an iMac. So then what I have done is I have launched QuickTime Player. Then up in the file menu, I am choosing New Movie. And because my phone is already connected, it shows the screen of my phone. If it doesn't, you click on, well, okay, just making it a bit smaller so you can see the whole phone screen. But if it doesn't bring your phone up automatically, you just click this little option and choose your phone. And it should automatically also choose sound from your phone. So then as you can see, it's recording my screen. I'm just doing a few different things. But if you open your camera, oh no, I'm going to open Facebook to show you that first. Okay, now you open your camera and you will be able to see whatever your phone camera is seeing. However, the downside is that when you film in uh, landscape, it doesn't actually flip the screen that you are mirroring. So that's a little bit annoying. So that's why sometimes in my videos you might see me trying to center things because I'm trying to flip it in my mind while I'm looking. But it is so much easier to see if you have things in, um, in screen when you're able to see your screen. Um, but yeah, if you're filming in portrait, it, it's pretty easy to see what is happening. So that's a really handy tip, but unfortunately it's only for Mac. Yes, so unfortunately uh, the screen mirroring technique I just showed you is only for um, Mac or Apple users. However, I have heard that there are a number of mirroring apps um, that allow you to do the same thing with other devices and different pairings. So make sure you check those out too. I really hope that you found these tips and tricks um, helpful. Uh, they're just some things that I've learnt along the way that I thought others might be interested in finding out about. Um, yeah, if there's anything else that you would like me to uh, do a video on, for example, if you want me to do a bit more of an in-depth video on Canva and how to use that, I'm happy to do that. Or, you know, if there's, if you have any questions about anything that I've spoken about, feel free to leave a comment below. I love getting your comments. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, I will see you next time. Bye.